Hello everyone, Hal Jackie here, and welcome to part two of my series called Building a Skyline from Scratch. Yes, I know, I, I took the name, it's inspired by building a city from scratch and city skylines, but I'm just like, with those two things, I can put them together and come up with a nice, uh, nice title other than Let's Play City Skylines, because that's what, uh, most people do, and that's, that's very generic. But anyways, back to the city here, so... In the last part, I finally finished by building a highway, and now I think I want to get started by building my first uh, interchange, but it looks like I need to build a cemetery first. So I'll do that. Not too close to the highway. Building must be placed on roadside. Come on, you can do it. So if you want to check out the uh, the cemetery, that's what it looks like. So a pretty generic uh, place, but I mean, even SimCity 4 had them. Just a good old place to, to bury your, your loved ones and maybe even a pet cemetery. Alright, what I have right now is just a intersection on this highway, which is very... Uh, best word for me to use is bad so I'm gonna replace that um, with a new junction over here I'm probably gonna build big because it's gonna be uh, something that will be used quite a lot going forward so I might make a, uh, a six-lane road go as close to underneath this uh, this bridge as I can maybe bring this down oops, bring this down to the ground level and have like loops so it would be a, a, uh, a full the diamond interchange because I just think it would be too close to this uh, junction over here, which I may one day upgrade if I decide to expand past this dotted line. So I'm going to build a big road. Um, six lane. To see how close I can get under it. Of course it doesn't this game, you gotta watch out for supports. Need to make sure that it's all properly lined up. It's kind of something like that. Something like that. So, I'm gonna just hit the simulator on pause because I don't want to impede the flow of traffic. Now, if I do this, will it demolish the bridge? Because I don't want that. Okay, great. Like I just need to draw a very small span that goes straight. Kind of the same on this side. Keep it straight. Oh, come on. See, I would love to do that, but I can't build in that direction. So it's making me go that way. Or this way. Maybe if I took the snapping tool off? Yeah, that works a bit better. That's why I would like the ability to uh, change... I think that's good enough. To change the direction that you can drag stuff. Because I find that when you're dragging out, you do a much better job. Like if I was dragging out here, rather than dragging in. Because I won't have things line up as nicely. When well, dragging out, I know exactly that, that point where I'm, I'm coming in. It's a minor point. It's a little bit of beef, but I mean, it's not a big deal. Oops. Oh, that's definitely not good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Well, I should never say perfect. I mean, they slightly misaligned here. But I mean, it's, it's good enough. I, I doubt it, but I wonder if I have enough road here to build another road if I wanted to. Yep, okay, I can build, like, say I want to build, like, a rail line or something underneath this. That space is reserved for it. So, cool. And I should probably put the simulation back on play before I get this hooked 
looped up. But of course now I'm going to need to build loop ramps and that may take out the power lines too. Just something for me to be mindful of, I guess. So for now I think I'll just drag this uh, six lane road just over here, just for the time being. But this road can continue to go straight. I'll put the snapping tool back on just to keep it relatively straight. All right. So now I want to build a loop ramp because that is the most important uh, part of this design. So I'm wondering if it'll let me build right from this spot here. And then page down because I definitely want it to, to go down maybe curved. Maybe maybe I'll do the freehand tool. No, no, not the upgrade, the freehand tool. I'm being a little too... Ugh! Right, let me get it back down to the ground first. That ruins, does that ruin the slope of this road? Yeah, just a little bit. Not too much, I guess. Okay, interesting. Just playing around, this is my first time building an interchange kind of like this, so... Just, just give me a minute here. So I want to build this as much as I can. angle is terrible. I need to watch out for that too. I guess in order to minimize that angle I gotta go this way and then down. I wonder what that will look like. It's kinda like that and then from here I'll press uh, page down dictate that it's going. I want to have the, the largest edge possible. And then I think for now I'll just make it end here. Well no, because I need another row going straight, so that won't work. This area will eventually be tweaked and then rebuilt, so... For now, I guess I'll just do it like that. How's that for... Angles and, and, and stuff? Oh, that's pretty bad. It's actually, it's actually pretty bad. Ow. So the first tries, of course, are going to be a little... Uh, more difficult than... than First thought, of course. I need that angle. I need that angle very straight. In hindsight, I should have had it come out, do a ramp, and then have it kind of come around. Okay. Maybe I'll try that. I'll have a ramp start at the very edge of the bridge, then have the overpass go under. That might work a little bit better. So I haven't saved anything yet. So if I screw up royally, I can always uh, come back to my, my previous state. I'm going to try and do this again. Does it look a little bit nicer? No, definitely want. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do this direction too. I still fit a six-lane road under the under here. So back down to ground level. Yep. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, stay straight. Come on. Those pop-ups right on top of my menu is a little annoying. It's a, it's a minor thing. Like I'm, it's not like the end of the world for me, but you know, it's it's something that impedes your your progress. Uh, just a little bit. All right, now that I have the ramp extended here, I'll try the off ramp. Keep it straight for as little as possible. And then here, let's see how nice it is with me dragging. Maybe there is best. It's a little funky here. But I can live with it. That angle's good too. So I'm definitely much happier with that, and I think I'll just temporarily connect it here. Yeah, just, just something bad. I mean, it's going to look bad for now, because eventually I'll have this road kind of coming, I think, up and around, and I'll have a major arterial kind of comb through here as another perpendicular street as things get denser. So I think that'll work for now. So, for the time being here as well, I'll just build another quick ramp. I'll have the angle come out nicely first, like from about here. That's what I- I don't want it to- I want it just to go straight. Can you not just connect- Like, what do you- what do you gotta do that? Like I, this is why I like building in the other direction. I like building into stuff. Oh, wrong way again. I'll fix that curve eventually. said I would be an expert at this game, by the way. Just because I can do this in SimCity 4 does not mean that I can do it for Skylines. That looks really bad. I have to really get rid of both segments. What? What? Okay, that looks even worse. The angle needs to be perfect. What can I do to have the angle perfect? Still not perfect. I I want close to perfect. Can I get close to perfect? so hard but I'm just I'm just making it hard it's 
It's not that I suck, it's just that... I'm new. Yes, that's what I use to defend myself. Alright, that's a little bit better. I think it'll work for now. Over here, though, I have nothing impeding. Oh, crap, I lost power. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna build, like, a power line. Something like that, just to avoid the whole area. Okay, this direction. I need to find a good point because I need to, to, to kind of bring it back up, right? I can't drag this way and down, which is what I would like to do. I like to build to something. Now I just have to guess. Like, I can't go like, like that and just kind of feel, get a feel of where, where things work best. I gotta, I gotta start from, from this end. So I don't know. See how it's much more finicky this way? I don't I don't like it. Just these little things that I, I, I would I guess I have this way as, as a pointer. Um That's better. Definitely not perfect, though. Oh, I so want to build that other way. Oh yeah, and I need to be on ground level. <sighs> it still sucks! If you want someone raging... It's a labor of love here, though. It's it's some, you know it's something that I, I would like to, to get built. That's better. And then from here, maybe do something like that for the time being. And then from here, I'm probably going to use the same. I do for this angle? Can I get it any better? I thought it'd be a little bit easier than that, but it is done, essentially. Just in this direction. I could have this kind of be a little bit straighter. But I don't know. I just, I guess I need to wait and, and kind of... weigh my options to see what, uh, what works best. But I think that's worth making a save. Because I really don't want to do that again. Scratch would be the name. Yeah, these angles are okay. Not perfect, but I'm sure tools and things will improve. Ah, uh, that will one day make it perfect. But with this built, I can now finally gut this intersection. And force everything to use that, uh... That interchange there. Oops! No, 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 no. Get out of the dozer tool. So it might take a si uh, minute for some of the sims to... Are they sims in this game? I really need to read up. So eventually this direction might look a little bit better this way, but that's when I get in a nice road when I have the density and the nice flower beds and stuff. 
uh, that I want to get built. Yeah, here we go. Because right now this middle lane is useless. <laughs> no one wants to be in that middle lane because it doesn't turn right, it doesn't turn left, and if you go straight you're going to run into a house. I got the bus depot unlocked. Still need to study up some uh, some transit planning, whatever. So I think I might just want one overpass here. Yeah, yeah, maybe just one overpass. To keep things a little bit more realistic. Oops. Um. So I think I'll keep this. Eventually, maybe I'll have this road upgraded or something. But I'll build it right across from this cemetery. As close as I can get it. I'll build a four-lane road. build a middle section now. I'm gonna keep going as far as I can. And I broke the power lines again! This episode should be called Break Power Lines. So yeah, there is an intersection on each side of this, which is kind of weird, but if you build in like the nice median stuff later, it's, it's alright. Is that really high enough for trucks? Did I really do a bad job there? It's like trucks don't use the right lane. Well, it looks like there's enough room. That tractor's getting through okay. Maybe it's just this angle. That looks bad. I think I'll keep this road for now, because eventually I'll build... Or is it too close? I think it'll extend this maybe just a bit. Screw it. I'll just connect those up for now. Of course, this overpass doesn't go anywhere yet. But that's pretty much all I can realistically build, build on, on this side. Really don't want to do much else. Well, it looks like these power lines are now disconnected, but there's enough power elsewhere that it's okay. I'm just going to study this to see, I'm going to slow it down just a bit, just to see the, the, the clearance. The truck's fine in that, yeah, okay, there's lots of room. I just saw a huge tanker truck go, go under on the right lane, right most lane, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of clearance, even at level one. I don't know why I call it level one, I guess I'm just used to the uh, RHW. Uh, Real Highway mod for SimCity 4, if anybody doesn't know. The RHW uh, levels. Level 0 is ground level. Level 1 is like just the first overpass height that you need. And then there's 2, 3, and 4, which of course you use when you build multi-level uh, interchanges, like a, a stack interchange or whatever. So far, though, I have no need for that. My, uh, my population now is over 3,000, so that's cool. And I got a nice little, uh, nice little highway. So I think I'll do the same thing on this side. Uh, eventually. They might be closely spaced due to weaving issues or whatever, but I think... I think that'll work best, because if I plop one more interchange here... I might get away with one more on this side. Might get away with it. Or I could just put one in the middle. That's what I'm thinking now. Based on the spacing, is maybe just build one in the middle. I did download one. I don't think it's shown up in my game yet. I don't know where I go. I can build a wall. Oh, that's cool. The 
Ball of moderation. That's as close to the highway as I think I want things built anyway. And of course it needs water and power. Alright, 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 alright. That doesn't reach it, really? Well, I've got the water tool here. I may as well just water everything else on, on this side of the river, because that's where I'm going to concentrate uh, right now. Start off small, right? My industrial demand is through the roof. I don't know why this is built here. Oh, crap! Yeah, I think my town's growth right now is kind of stalled on the lack of, uh, of industry, which I kind of put all on the side here because I didn't want a whole lot of uh, pollution and stuff to be set on that side. So I think there is a small amount of commercial demand, which I'll build uh, over here now. So you're going to be converted to just commercial. Because I don't want it to be super close to the, uh, to the road here. And this way I'll continue that three lane. I probably don't need three lanes past here. Well, you never know, though. I'll convert it to four lanes just for now. Four lane roads just look nicer anyway. Oops. I, I want the nice, uh, nice curve on it, though. I think I'll keep this straight. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep it straight. Just kind of just build all the way to the city edge and just use a two lane road to link it for now because I think I'll eventually. Alright, fine. I think I'll eventually build a uh, another tile on this side. But I don't know yet. I don't know which way I'll go. So, for now, that's just kind of infill. placeholder. But I'll use it on the, as a basis to build my grid. Really, you want to kind of go like that? Uh, that's not perfect. Space management. That's better. Build one more here. And of course, I lose all the power lines again! Ah! Just because of this stupid intersection thing, is I'll. Uh... You know what? I'll build a nice curve this way. I'm going to blow up my power lines again. You know what? I'll keep it straight. At least for a bit. And of course, I lose my power. That'll work. Ooh, and I can get away with one of these cool intersections over here, maybe. Because why not? 
Why not just do that and have a little fun? And then down this way. Build there. Maybe take the snap off. No, no, I'll stay straight. It just doesn't like to build on that straight of an angle. Same here. You don't want to build on a straight angle. Like, why? Okay, I'll build a cool road this way too. Why not? Piano. That's better though. Oh, I just connected my power lines again! This is the episode of screwing up power lines. That it's only natural to connect these together. This is just a placeholder road, so okay. And... Okay, why not? So I'll build more commercial stuff on uh, on this side. How do we do this? I guess that'll work. My cat wants attention. You can actually build and zone underneath. You're gonna get like a crappy like magazine stand or something underneath there. Oops, that's D zone. It's my first time using this this brush kind of tool. These can be filled in. I don't know why they can't. I guess that's just something I have to live with for now. Maybe just 
put a bit more commercial in here. And then I'll just paint the rest as, uh, as residential. Nope! That's, that's not the right uh, color. 100% my fault. Down this way, I'll also do a little bit more commercial. Whoa, 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 whoa. And of course, I disconnected stuff again. And I, I suck at doing that. Once I get these, once there's things that have power here, though, I can get rid of these transmission towers and, and build zones in there. So this will all be kind of a commercial area. So I'll paint that. I guess I can paint a little bit more residential over here. I mean, people love parks. It doesn't quite fit in these areas. I might put it right here. Landfill usage is okay. Water's okay. Health, there's no dead people. My capacity's okay. Fire safety, yeah, okay, I'll build another little station over here. Um, police is okay, so I don't really need to do too much. Um, I think, like, I'm gonna have a lot more kids, so I'm gonna... I'll save up for an elementary school. Since there's a lot of residential stuff over here. In a good spot to plop that. Probably over here. Yeah. How much is this? I already built a high school, so I think I'm okay with that. But I'll, I'll build another elementary school over here. My industrial demand, though, now is through the roof. So I really need to focus on industry after this. Nothing else will build. No stores will open. No homes will be settled until I have uh, more industry, it looks like. Or maybe I just need to educate my sims a little bit more. When's my next milestone, by the way? Oops. I'll get used to these things. Okay, so not till uh, 3,500 people. Uh, 5,500 people, sorry. Alright, so what can I do to expand my, my industry? Very high demand for industry or offices, it says. I can't build office zones yet. How's my power generation? It's just keeping up. I need to find another windy spot if I'm going to build more, more industry and stuff. There's a windy area over here, 6 megawatts, 6 megawatts. I pretty much utilized all the, all the good spots, because that's a 7. 5, 6. I might just build it over here, because there's a nice... It's already connected with stuff. So that'll help temporarily. Why did you even build here? Do I really need to provide power? No, I don't. One business is open over here, that's it. And of course the shopping mall, which I'm sure employs some people. Or it's just free. So what I think I'll do in the uh, the next part is build some more industry, maybe on this side of the uh, the river, so it's kind of together in a blob. But I really wanted to keep this space over here free for like a downtown or, or something. So I know I guess my city is 
kind of stalled until I build more more industrial. I work myself into a corner completely unintentionally. I could build some temporary temporary industry over here. In fact, I might just do that. another interchange over here eventually but until then I'll just kind of do that probably needs a fire station over here too no industrial buildings love to burn down. So, I'll build one right here. My apologies about the phone ringing. I'll, I'll answer it in a bit. Oh, water! Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably need water, though I've run out of money. I will slowly service this area in pieces. I like how you don't have to wait to the end of the week, it just gives you an average for the week. I may build eventually I may eventually build some industry this way, so I'll wait till I have that much money. So there, it's an industrial sector. And my demand is now low, which means my population can grow, and it is. What's going on here? I, like, lost half my bridge. What? Is that just a graphical thing, or is that because I built these ramps? That looks like... Yuck. That's just yuck is what it is. Maybe I can get it back by tweaking some stuff. But yeah, I, I, I lost it. I can't even read these signs, they're so dirty. Uh, what is that? Traffic or throughway or something? It's almost like there's two signs thrown on top. This is definitely a commuting highway now. Oh, more demand for power. So you will build another windmill. We're in the six megawatt area. In fact, I'll probably need a second one. So they don't produce a lot. And yeah, big demand for workers, but at least my industrial demand is low. We need people to work here. But there was tons of demand, which means there was probably a lot of workers. Like, and of course, this intersection is temporary. I will build a major interchange somewhere here, or possibly two. It'll probably only be one. Possibly two. I mean, there's now some growth over here, which is nice. So yeah, it's, it's it's growing, it's growing up. I think when I'm done this part, I'll do my my review of the game. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably be unscripted, just me kind of ranting or expressing my thoughts, and maybe comparing it to uh, a couple of the games like SimCity 4 and SimCity 2013, what my expectations were and whatever. So look forward for that. It'll probably just be me talking without any 
kind of visuals or whatever, but who knows? I won't say more than what I know, and what I know is... Well, abandoning! There's a new piece of land available. Yes, I know. I, I kind of want to stay here for now until I figure out which way I want to go. I wanted a downtown over here, but now it's all polluted. I'll probably have to wait a little while. Oh, I've got some more demand for power. Uh, yep, yep, for sure. That's a 5 megawatt zone. They, are there no more... 6? Is that 6? 5? six in this area. That's six. That's five. The wind does change, though. Probably put a little more on here. So electricity is okay for now. Water's okay for now. Garbage is okay. Health and death care. Traffic, yes, it's heavy because that's an intersection and not a... It's only a two-lane road. Looks like some bad traffic here at the off-ramp. This will be fixed when I finally put in a nice arterial road. So... I don't really have any worries over there. And yeah, this is, this is getting moderate because... Yeah, I will build an arterial to get over there. Probably in the next part. Is this one... I think I've, I've done... I've accomplished what I've wanted to in, in this little session here. Is I basically built everything up on, on this side of the, uh, of the river. So I'll start on this side in the next part. So hopefully you guys are enjoying building a skyline from scratch. Not much of a skyline yet. In fact, the tallest buildings right now are the windmills. But uh, definitely more will be coming and I will see you then so take care guys have a good one see you next time